Okay, hello everyone, Victor Momo from Excel Moments, and I'm excited to tell you that checkboxes have debuted in Excel. I know this didn't just happen, but I've been trying to record this video for three weeks. I'm not as excited as I was three weeks ago, but I'm excited nonetheless. The fact that I can just simply insert a checkbox into a cell without using ActiveX controls and VBA. That is really exciting. So for those of you on the beta channel, not everybody, you probably may have gotten the update. If you haven't, like I haven't on my second PC, just hang in there. It will get to you. So if you go to the insert tab now and you look somewhere to the far right, you will see a checkbox. So if you just click on an empty cell and you say insert and you say checkbox, you can see a checkbox is automatically inserted. And when you look at the formula bar, you see the word false. If you check this, it turns true and in terms of formatting it's basically a general format right okay so checked one true unchecked is false the beautiful thing about it is that if you have cells that already have the words false and true you can select them and by doing insert checkbox you can convert them into checkboxes so if you go here and say insert checkbox now you see that we have one that is unchecked and one that is checked. Okay, next thing is in terms of, you know, toggling the checkboxes. If you hover over the checkbox button here, you will see at the bottom part of it that you can select an individual checkbox or toggle multiple, you know, by pressing the space bar. So it means that if I have all of this, I can do control shift right. In there, I have false across all of them. If I press the space bar, automatically they all become true. If I press space bar, they all become false. It's not a perfect toggle, but you know, I'll live with it. Okay. <laughs> now in terms of changing the look and feel, if you want to change, you know, the colors, so maybe it looks red or looks green. What you do basically is to go to the home tab and you don't change the feel. You actually change the font color. Okay. So if you change this to red, right? So when you check it, you know, it's all reddish. If you come in here and you change this, you know, to green, Okay, then when you check, it's all greenish. You don't do the feel. See what the feel would look like. Okay, so that's the feel. So what you want to change is the font and not the feel. Okay, that's just something I thought to add. Now, in terms of the states of the checkbox, this is an interesting one. What you expect is to have two states, one unchecked, you know, second one checked. But there is a third state, which I for now call like a ghost mode, you know, <laughs> that's what that looks like. So let me do something. Let's take this, you know, I kind of do a format painter. So take a format painter and then select all these cells here. Okay. So what do you notice when any of them is selected? It has a checkbox in there, which is like a virtual checkbox because the moment you move out of it, you know, it's gone. Okay. If you move out, you don't see any of the checkboxes, right? So they are there, you know, but they are not really there, right? But once you activate them by either checking or unchecking, it then becomes a fully activated checkbox. Okay. Now you see that this one stays. Okay. If you do that, the same thing, maybe here, check this, you know, then it kind of stays. So it's like you have three states, you know, you have checked, you have unchecked and you have, you know, like a ghost mode. Okay. Next thing I want to talk about are, you know, maybe bugs or features. These are still early days. So, you know, some things that I may consider as bugs may actually be features. And then some of these bugs will definitely be worked on in the coming days. Okay. The first thing you notice is that when you insert checkboxes just to the right, you can see you have the ghost checkboxes. Okay. Let me do something. Let me just delete this so that you don't think I did something before you arrived. So let me insert. So the moment you insert, you can see that you have ghost checkboxes just beside, you know, existing checkboxes. Okay. Right. But of course, once you get to the bottom, you don't see that. And it doesn't also happen, you know, to the left, but that's something maybe good. You know, after inserting a checkbox, you already have, you know, more or less like this in the ghost mode, and then you can easily activate it if you want to use it. Now, the other thing I see is in terms of toggling, you know, when you say toggle, so if I select all of this and press space, you know, yes, that looks like, an actual toggle, right? But now let me check some of them. So let's check a few of them. Okay. So when you check a few, right, and then you press space, it still checks all or unchecks all. That's not, you know, an actual toggle to me. See what the toggle looks like. Let me use this one here. Okay. So once you do this, okay, sorry, I needed to select all of them so I can toggle. Okay. So you can see it's flipping the state of each of them. Okay. So when it's checked and I click, 
you know this is me using vba anyway you know so what it does actually i mean the way it works currently is that it uses the state of the active cell to determine what to do so now if you do this selection and you do this the active cell as you can see will be this first cell here because this first cell is checked by the time you press spacebar everything is unchecked okay now let's do one other one just to convince you about what i'm saying anyway but not like you really care much okay so let's select everything and let me select this cell and then you know select it back just to make sure this is the active cell so because the active cell now is unchecked once you press the space bar it will check all of them okay and then uncheck so that's what it does but i would love an actual toggle where the states of all checkboxes are flipped now let's get into you know an example the most obvious one which is kind of like an attendance tracker right so you have these individuals you know who came for a training for seven days and you want them to kind of check and say oh yes we're around we're not around you know okay so let me just select all of this and then i go to insert and checkbox now it kind of feels like a long way to get there right but the shortcut is alt n and c3 okay so if you do nc3 it will insert a checkbox for you if you don't like that and you feel that shortcut is too long then you can put it on the quick access toolbar and you can use a shortcut like alt 1 alt 2 okay so now what you can do here is you can check right and what i've done is i already put a formula in here which basically just does a sum of you know this checkbox values but i multiply by one because the sum doesn't like booleans right so because they are true and false in these cells once you multiply by one it converts it to one and zero okay so you can see that as you check you can see how many days each of those fellows you know attended so you can select all these for example press space back you know all of them are selected at once now let's do something interesting here where you want to probably conditionally format the check boxes mm -hmm. as opposed to the unchecked ones okay so let me select all of them uh down right okay let's just select this ones so we can go to the home tab go to conditional format two ways to do it you can say highlight cell rules and you say once is equal to maybe true you know okay then you select the format you want i will go to custom format the only thing i want to change really is the font so whenever it's checked maybe i want to have you know green okay basically that's it for me right so you do okay so once a checkbox is checked you know checked you know it turns green you can do the same if you want it to turn red you know when um, you know it's not checked so we could also select the same and just do the same thing okay highlight cell rules and just say equal to here you say it's equal to false and then you do a custom format right i could have just gone into the conditional formatting manager and repeated that anyway okay something like this right so you have kind of the red and green right and this kind of looks nice right next one here is if you want to use a conditional formatting to kind of toggle the feel of you know the particular row that you're on like now if i wanted to have this in green feel you know i could go in here go to the feel and do green if i want to toggle it make it you know white again or no feel i have to come back here and then turn it into white but the checkbox you know could be very useful for that in the sense that here you know what i will be doing is i'll be controlling more or less like the feel of each of these rows you know based on the state of the checkbox so let's instead a checkbox in here so alt n c3 that's the shortcut now what we are going to do is we are going to select the other cells here and then we are going to use the conditional format alt od and what we are going to do basically is this we are just going to check the state of the checkbox i want to use a formula in this case okay and then you can see that for the first one it's in cell v4 okay we need to put a dollar before the v because we want every cell to reference v and then for the four we don't put a dollar so that this is free to move you know down and you know conditionally format the other rules now what some people will do at this point is to say oh if dollar v4 equals to true you don't need to do that because the state of these cells you know it's either is true or false basically right so what it means is that if you say dollar v4 that's true if it's true it will conditionally format if it's false it doesn't so you don't need to say equals to dollar v4 equals to true or equals to false that's one reason i like the fact that it uses true and false okay so here i would say i want to use a few and use a green fill okay and then for the font i want to use white Okay. It may not be good with colors, but at least I know that a black on green is not the best idea. Okay, so and then apply and then do okay, right? So what this means is that now you can kind of, you know, select and toggle, okay? 
So anyone you select, you know, will be conditionally formatted. So this is like a toggle, you know, and you can then turn it to green, turn it back, you know, to no fill if you want. These are just, you know, the first set of examples I decided to show in this video because this video is already getting very long. I have a few other examples which will come in a second video or maybe even in a third one. But for now, I hope you like the fact that we have checkboxes in Excel and this can be used natively and you don't need to use VBA or ActiveX controls to make this work. Okay, so if you like this video, please hit the like button. Those who have subscribed to the channel, I appreciate you. Those who haven't, I appreciate you as well. And I trust that you will subscribe. For now, I'm out.